Hello, 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 and welcome back to Meet Your Maker. I have been playing quite a bit of this game over the past few days. I've unlocked all of the weapons now, I think. Left to mine on this uh, Soon yep. you'll be tossing tin cans um, at raiders. So yeah, I've got all the weapons. I, I'm usually preferring to go in with like a sword and shield kind of build. As the game is at the moment, uh, it's it, it can be a little bit limited in what you can actually do. So... I'm not too sure how long I'll be able to sort of do this for, and I don't know how long people will enjoy watching it for, but, um... I mean, I'm still enjoying playing it, so... Yeah. Um, I figured today we'd do something that I've not done before, because I've just unlocked a champion outpost, and I have still, even though I've played more, I've never done a, uh, brutal outpost. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's see... <laughs> How this goes. Um, so yeah, people have gotten so ingenious with some of their um, outposts. I wish that I had have recorded some of them. Because some of them were really good. But uh, I just sort of wanted to play in my own time a little bit. Get a little bit more used to the game. Um, depending on what the outpost is like. Oh my gosh, yawn. I'm so sorry. Oh. Yeah. Depending on what the outpost is like, I might have to change my loadout to the bolt gun. Uh, it depends what, what they do, basically. Uh, okay. No, 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 don't shoot the dude. Okay, that's one. <gasps> Hello! That actually did nearly get me. Okay, I'm thinking that we go for... I don't think I actually got that guy. The first guy. Damn, I think it missed. So yeah, they've got sort of like a kill box in the entrance, which is fine. Oh, I did a bad. Okay, I did get the... No, I didn't. There we go, now I did. Okay. Well, that's already gone, okay. Uh, it sounds like there's a treasure trove down here, so maybe I will go for that. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. That's where the shield is good. Um, the shield can... Oh, man. Did we get almost everything? Come on. Oof. <laughs> so the shield can be super good because it can block all instances of damage, essentially. So, like, if you know that you're about to drop into a kill box, you can literally activate the shield as you think you're going to get hit, and it will actually defend you from all sides, which is really nice. Um, as you upgrade it, you can use more things with the shield as well. Um... Nope. Wait. That was a bit weird, actually. Huh. Interesting. I'm not actually too sure why that last one activated when it did. Um, I've got some other tips as well. For people. So, blocks that look like this, they can be illusionary blocks. The way you tell these illusionary blocks apart is that when you are within either melee range or shooting distance, they will turn red like they're an enemy. Um, you can then obviously deal with them however you want to deal with them. So, that is super useful to know. Um, okay, I see maybe the problem here. Hmm. <laughs> I 
Okay, then we've got that one. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the gem mat's right here. Oh, God. That means he's going to have stuff. This man is going to have stuff. On the... On the switch out. Um... So what I'm going to do is I am going to probably head for, like, this corner, I think. So when when defenses activate once you've grabbed the gem mat, there is a, a couple of seconds before they will actually spot you and shoot. So you do actually have time to react no matter what. Um, my hope is that he hasn't got a ton of, like, blocks you can fall through, because that will be the thing that kills me, I think. Um... But... Okay. That could have gone worse. That could have gone a lot worse. Yeesh. I'm sorry, buddy. Life can suck sometimes when you're a weird box man. See, I wasn't too sure on that one, so I thought, okay, I'll put the, the shield up. Um, sometimes those, like, bombs can really mess you up, because they do have a much wider range than you think they're going to. Um, but, so far, so good. We're not, we're not perishing, which is really good. That's now, see, that is a fake block, so there we go. So we're going to go, we're going to kill that, then we're going to jump backwards. So yeah, we could have fallen to our deaths there. That would have been, uh, that would have been tragic. Uh, I wonder how many more fake blocks he's got, because he looks like the type that has uh, done exactly that. Okay. Uh, was there a... Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Hmm. I see. Why is this not shooting at me? That's very strange. No chances taken. Okay, that's already been destroyed. So I think that's an incinerator down there. Some of these people can be so ingenious. Um, and I do think that this guy is pretty good. Um, he's not killed me yet, which is nice. Um, I am a hell of a lot more experienced at the game than I was. So that is something to bear in mind. It's not that his maze is bad. It's just I kind of know a little bit more what I'm looking for now with um, with traps and stuff. Um, I've sort of started to learn a little bit where people like to put stuff. So I think this room's good. I'm super cautious because um, it said this one was brutal. And uh, so far, it's been pretty chill, to be completely honest with you. Okay. Um, another thing, if you're in doubt when you're leaving a maze, something you can do is you can put your grapple hook down at the floor... Use the momentum and then jump yourself forward. So you're usually faster than whatever it is that will shoot at you. Um, I think we're just going to go for fun and... Um, I wouldn't say it was brutal or ingenious. <sighs> like... I mean, c kind of. I liked his use of the, uh, the fading blocks. I think that um, that was a really good idea. And I think some of his trap placement was really good as well. Um, and that first kill box room with all the enemies in the front room, uh, that was particularly, like, devilish. But, like, all in all, I've definitely been into harder outposts, which is strange. 
Um, I'm going to give him an artistic, just because he did actually put a lot of thought into it, regardless. But I, I wouldn't say it was brutal or ingenious. Um, I did have fun, though. So, yeah, that's how I would rate that one. And that was my first ever brutal outpost. I've created my own outpost. I've actually managed to prestige it as well, because it killed enough people. That was a lot of fun. Uh, fun fact. Please, please. Please, what are you doing? What? Uh, so, fun fact about your own outposts when you um, prestige them. They get a little bit of extra capacity. And uh, that extra capacity can be used to place extra traps, upgrade your guards, so on and so forth. And just generally make your base a lot better at killing people. Uh, so, like, the one that I've got at the moment... Uh, should I show you it? Maybe I should show you it. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, we have this one, which is my only active one. Um, it's it's killed eight raiders with only two attempts, like, two different people attempting it. Uh, one person, I think, made it through completely unscathed. The other person died, like... I think it was the other person died like eight times, but he was doing it in co-op as well, so they were like reviving each other, um, which actually helped me quite a lot. That gave me like a ton of uh, XP for my outpost, which meant that I could prestige it and then add new things to it, which is really cool. I'm super glad that that is a thing that you can do. Uh, I've unlocked all of the guards now. I've not unlocked any augments for any of them. I've began unlocking some augments for some traps. And I've also began Strange. augmenting the so melee like suit as well. And I would say, like, if you're going for a melee build, this suit, this melee suit, is brilliant. Um, just having the extra, like, lunge range and lunge speed is so good. Um, generally speaking, that is my favorite way to play. So, um... Yeah, that, this, I, I'm going to actually do this as just like a mini update video on how I've been finding the game. And um, honestly, fully recommend it. I think this game is great. I think genuinely, like, uh, if, you can, if you've if you got a PlayStation, it's on PS Plus. You have no excuse not to try it unless you don't have the storage space, I guess. Um, which is a valid concern because um, I really feel your pain if you are having storage space, space issues. But otherwise, like, try it. Just try the game. If you don't like it, that's fair enough. These, like, games where it's, like, sort of, like, one shot and they kill you in one hit, it's not for everyone. Yeah. All in all, this game is great. This game is, like, um, so worth your time. Um, is it worth £25? I would say that at the moment, in its state that it's currently in, just about if what you're seeing is something that you think looks fun the game is going to get lots of updates and i'm sure it will because the dead by daylight guys have such a good track record with updating obviously dead by daylight so i'm sure if this game is even remotely successful they will probably pump a huge amount of time into adding more stuff to it and i, I would say that's the only flaw with the game at the moment is that it doesn't have like too much variety at this stage um obviously player creativity makes a huge amount of difference and when you do come across a creative player's outpost it's so much fun to go through i mean even that one that we just did it wasn't the hardest i've ever done but i actually did think that was a very fun kind of layout like it was super cool to go through it and just try and be good at the game um but uh, yeah, you know, this was just a little little update on what I think of the game, and yeah, it's a it's a thorough recommend for me to be honest with you. And yeah, hopefully you've seen my skill has improved a little bit as well. Yeah, I think that's about it really. Uh, so uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Farewell.